Although I sold a couple of stories as a college student, my career as a professional fiction writer actually began just after my graduation. I had written a column, King's Garbage Truck it was called, the editor-in-chief's name for it, not mine, in the college paper for two or three years, and I stopped into the offices to pick up some of my junk two or three days after commencement. The place was totally empty, the first time I'd ever seen it that way. For a week or so, I'd had a story idea knocking around in my head, something about giant rats living and breeding under a New England textile mill. It wasn't a bit like the sensitive literary fiction I'd been doing in the creative writing seminars I had taken, not much like the slap-happy, sarcastic columns I'd written for the garbage truck, but that big, empty office and all those empty typewriters suggested a liberation and an openness I'd only guessed at during my last couple of semesters. They suggested I could do what I wanted. Wasn't school out? I spent that day knocking out a story called Graveyard Shift. I remember being very happy and very absorbed, having the time of my life, in fact. The story was gruesome, fast, and fun. It later became a film which was gruesome and fast, but unfortunately not much fun. I sent it out to Cavalier magazine pretty much as it was. I might have put it through one fast rewrite, although I don't remember doing so. My writer's market said Cavalier would read unagented horror and science fiction stories, and that was good enough for me. It turned out to be good enough for Nye Wilden, the fiction editor at Cavalier, too. He bought it for $200 which seemed an enormous amount of money to a young man who had spent most of his college years in two pairs of blue jeans and had on more than one occasion supped on cheery casserole, a dish I invented. It consisted of Cheerios and peanut butter fried in Wesson oil. Ever had any? No? Good for you. By the time the check for graveyard shift arrived, I was engaged to be married. My intended... Tabitha Spruce of Old Town, Maine, enjoyed my stories a good deal, as I enjoyed her work, mostly poetry at that time. I met her while we were working together at the Raymond Fogler Library at the University of Maine, but really got to know her in a series of poetry seminars and workshops. She read a story of mine called I Am the Doorway in the early fall of 1970 and said it was one of the best science fiction stories she'd ever read. I was flattered out of my socks, not to mention the rest of my apparel. That story also sold to Cavalier, and by the time it was published, we were... Sample complete. Ready to...